Picture this. You're settling in for movie night, popcorn in hand, when suddenly you realize the thriller you're watching is not just a work of fiction, but inspired by leaked classified information. Yes, we're talking about movies like Fair Game, Snowden, and The Post. These films explore the behind-the-scenes machinations of political intrigue and secret operations. They bring stories of whistleblowers and spies to the big screen, shedding light on real-life intelligence leaks that have changed the course of history. But hold on, it gets even more astonishing. These movies reveal the depth of surveillance programs, political motivations, and the extent of governmental manipulations. But the real kicker, the most tantalizing piece of this cinematic puzzle, is, well, you'll find out soon enough. What's up, my amazing and curious folks? Ready to unravel mysteries together? I'm your host, Cesar, and with me is the ever-insightful Sonia. Are you ready to journey into the world of secrets and intrigue, Sonia? Hiya, folks. Always ready for a good mystery, Caesar. Let's dive in. That's the spirit, Sonia. Now don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and hit that bell icon. You don't want to miss our daily unraveling of the world's most fascinating curiosities. Stay tuned to Curiosity Wonderland and keep that curiosity peaked. Peeling back the curtain on the world of leaks and espionage, we find a treasure trove of fascinating stories made into films. Not all of these films were blockbuster hits, but each one gives us a glimpse into the secretive world of intelligence, showing us what's at stake when classified information is revealed and what drives someone to take such a high-risk step. Can you tell us more about these movies and the real-life leaks they're based on? Certainly. A great example to start with is the series of films inspired by the Cambridge Five. These were a group of spies who were lured by the Soviet Union's promises and leaked a variety of classified intelligence that aided the Soviets. They were all high-ranking officials in the British Secret Intelligence Service and various government departments. Their exploits have inspired 24 movies, with the first one, Traitor, being released in 1971, and the latest, A Spy Among Friends, in 2022. Sounds like an intense storyline. Yes, indeed. And then there's Fair Game, a 2010 movie based on the real-life incident where Central Intelligence Agency officer Valerie Plame's identity was leaked to the media. The movie delves into the political machinations behind the leak and its fallout, creating a gripping narrative. Wow, that really brings home the risks involved in leaking classified information. Absolutely. These movies tell tales of intrigue and sacrifice, shedding light on the complex dynamics of intelligence leaks. Diving further into the world of movie-based leaks, we encounter The Fifth Estate, a film based on the leaked intelligence that WikiLeaks brought to light. This film showcases an array of scandals from corruption inside a Swiss bank to police death squads in Kenya, to the identities of members of the British National Party, and also the cover-up of the murder of two Reuters journalists by US troops in Iraq. And then of course, there was the posting of war logs from Iraq and Afghanistan, along with 250,000 US diplomatic cables. That's quite a list of shocking revelations. It indeed is. And it brings up an interesting question. When does the unrestricted flow of information begin to destroy everything it's out to save? That's a question for the ages. Yes, it is. Then we have Snowden, a film based on the whistleblowing activities of Edward Snowden, a former CIA computer intelligence consultant. Snowden exposed thousands of U.S., British, and Australian secrets about U.S. National Security Agency surveillance and clandestine operations, revealing the lengths to which governments will go to spy on not just their own citizens, but on other nations as well. Wow. This is what fascinates me about the world of curiosities and records. So many incredible facts and discoveries that take us behind the scenes of events and actions that shape our world. What do you think, listeners? Are you intrigued by these stories? Don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying these revelations as much as I am. Moving to American Made, it's based on the life of Adler Berryman, Barry Seal, a commercial airline pilot turned drug smuggler. After his conviction, he became an informant for the Drug Enforcement Administration. 
That sounds like a wild ride. Was it all true? The film does take some creative liberties, sensationalizing and fabricating some elements of Seal's life. However, the connections between Seal and the CIA, which are a central part of the film, are based on real leaked intelligence. Interesting. What about The Post? The Post tells the story of the Washington Post's decision to publish the Pentagon Papers, a top-secret Pentagon review leaked by military analyst and whistleblower Daniel Ellsberg. Ah, the Pentagon Papers, a major event in the history of journalism. Absolutely. The information in the Pentagon Papers shaped public understanding of U.S. decision-making in Vietnam from 1948 to 1968. These stories all show the huge impact of leaks on society. Yes, they do. They also highlight the fine line between revealing truth and endangering national security. Our journey continues with Red Joan, a film based on the life of Melita Norwood, a secretary who stole nuclear secrets for the Soviet Union during World War II and the Cold War. Despite being exposed as a spy late in her life, she expressed no remorse for her actions. That's, that's remarkable in itself. It's interesting how she was able to evade detection because of the sexism of her time, right? Absolutely. She was suspected to be a spy by one of the first female MI5 agents, Mona Mond. However, her tip was dismissed by a male superior who didn't believe women could be competent spies. That's an interesting curiosity, isn't it? Such gender bias might have actually helped Norwood continue her spying undetected. Yes, it did, and it shows how biases can sometimes blind us to truth. Speaking of biases, it's also interesting to know that Red Joan, despite being based on such a fascinating real-life story, was not well received by film critics. Yes, according to Rotten Tomatoes, the film was criticized for wasting the incredible intrigue of its story and the formidable talents of its star, Judy Dench. Moving on to official secrets, it's based on the whistleblowing activities of Catherine Gunn, and it reveals some truly incredible intelligence leaks. Official Secrets highlights the story of Catherine Gunn, a translator for Britain's government communications headquarters. She was asked to help in compiling potentially incriminating personal details concerning UN representatives, seemingly to force them into voting for the war in Iraq. That's outrageous to think that personal details could be used as blackmail like that. Yes, it's a troubling aspect of intelligence work. Gunn was so incensed by the request that she printed a copy of the memorandum, and it eventually appeared in The Observer. And she was essentially punished for blowing the whistle, right? Correct. She was charged under the Official Secrets Act of 1989, but the charges were mysteriously dropped. Now let's talk about The Courier, a film about MI6. Yes, it's based on the recruitment of businessman Greville Wynne by MI6 agent Dickie Franks. Wynne was tasked with meeting with Lieutenant Colonel Oleg Penkovsky of the Soviet Union's GRU under the guise of discussing scientific and technological opportunities. And Wynne was not even a professional spy, was he? That's right. The subsequent meetings lead to a massive amount of leaked material, playing a significant role in the Cuban Missile Crisis and eventually landing both men in prison. It's amazing how ordinary people can get involved in such extraordinary events. Indeed. Lastly, we have Reality, based on the life of Reality Lee Winner, an American intelligence specialist who was arrested for releasing classified information about Russian interference in the 2016 American presidential election. Winner showed a deep sense of conflict regarding her actions. She was fully aware that the document she released was classified but she also believed that the American public was being misled. That's a difficult position to be in, knowing something that could potentially change public perception, but being legally bound not to disclose it. It certainly is. Winner was sentenced in 2018 to five years and three months in prison. However, she was released from custody in November 2021 after spending time in a halfway house and under home confinement. And public opinion about her actions remains divided, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's a complicated issue that brings the importance of transparency to the forefront. It also highlights the significant ethical questions that individuals in intelligence fields often face. So we've explored 10 fascinating movies, all based on leaked classified intelligence. Traitor, A Spy Among Friends, Fair Game, The Fifth Estate, 
Snowden, American Made, The Post, Red Joan, Official Secrets, The Courier, and Reality. Each film shines a light on different aspects of spycraft, intelligence leaks, and the personal and political consequences of revealing classified information. These stories remind us that truth can sometimes be stranger and certainly more intriguing than fiction. Absolutely. It's fascinating to see how these real-life events have inspired such compelling cinema. These movies not only entertain, but also provide valuable insights into the world of intelligence and the ethical dilemmas faced by those who choose to disclose classified information. So it seems the real secret agents aren't just those who hide in the shadows, but also those who step into the light. So true. And it would seem that the only classified information here is what we'll be covering in our next episode. Haha, <laughs> indeed. Stay tuned to find out. Thank you to all our listeners for joining us on this thrilling journey into the world of intelligence leaks and intrigue. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to blast that like button, leave us a comment, and share this episode with your friends. Indeed, we appreciate your support. Remember, curiosity may have killed the cat, but it certainly makes for an interesting podcast. Until next time, goodbye and stay curious. Goodbye, everyone. Keep questioning. This intriguing topic was explored in an article titled 10 Movies Based on Leaked Classified Intelligence by Gary Pullman, published on Listverse on March 13th, 2024. If you'd like to read the full article, the link is in the description. Now, I'm off.